So hi and welcome to another video and today we're going to be looking at three different switches for the G Pro wireless that are commonly used. We've got the Kalief Reds, the TTC Gords and the standard stock Omron 50 million clicks from China. So in this video we're going to be testing the force for actuation, we're going to be doing a click per second test and we're also going to be doing a sound test just to give you an idea of the differences here. If you're looking at trying to customise your mouse here in a bespoke way, which a lot of people tend to use Kalief Reds. There's other options out there as well, like some other on ones from Japan, but these are the most common ones, so I thought I'd do a video on this. If you want to know what's different from this channel to other channels, this channel is going to provide you with the data and statistics from the tools of the gaming industry, giving you the competitive edge here to outplay your rivals. We all want the fastest equipment, the nicest clicks, the best performing switches, and this video today is going to show you that for the G Pro Wireless here. If you want me to install these in the G Pro Wireless for you, I can do that. Check out my bearded website. There's a shop on there. I can do this for as a service and as well as all the data and statistics will be recorded on that site as well. So you can go back and check out all the graphs and all the data whenever you want. So let's start here with the clicks per second. We're going to start with the Omrons, which are the stock ones that come with it. These are 50 million clicks and I can get 5.9 clicks per second out of the Omrons here. The Khalees Reds, I can get 6.3 clicks per second. The TTC Golds, I can also get 6.3 clicks per second. So a slight increase here in clicks per second over the stock on runs for me. These will be different on how you perform as well. This is only what I can do. You might get slightly quicker here, but I can already see a difference upgrading these switches straight away. So now we're going to move on to the force actuation for the switches here. We take a couple of measurements here and then we average that across to give us the average force here in the front, the back and the rear of the switch as we do in the mouse reviews that I do for all the other mice that I look at. So starting here with the on runs, which are the stock, the average force on the front of the switch was 45 grams actuation. The middle was 70 grams and the rear was 122 grams. The Khalif red front was an average of 33 grams. The middle was 57 grams and the rear was 228 grams. And the TTC gold here was an average of 45 grams at the front, 73 grams in the middle, 240 grams at the rear. So a few things here, the rear is obviously a little bit tougher on the TTC goals and Khalif, and this could have been because I took the measurement in the reviews that I've been doing for the Omrons and I might have taken a little bit closer to the front for the Omron. So the rear, I'd probably say is probably similar, but this is showing it to be slightly lighter for the Omron. The lightest click at the front is the Khalif Red, and the stiffest is either the Omron and joint with the TTC Gold. The middle, the lightest again is the Khalif again at 57, with the stock Omron being slightly lighter than the TTC Golds. So... For me, I can definitely feel the difference in stiffness in the TTC Golds. I am probably going back to use Khalif's. This has got TTC Golds installed. I'm going to go back to using Khalif Reds because I do prefer the lighter actuation. So the on-run to me is a quieter click here. I'd say the TTC Golds are a little bit sharper and louder over the Khalif Reds. So a conclusion here, well, the Khalif Reds are still looking to me to be the best switch here. I'm currently running TTC Golds on my G Pro. I'm going to switch back to Khalif Reds or maybe change it to something else like a Japanese Omron. The nicer click for me is on the Khalif Reds as well. It's a little bit stiff on the TTC Golds. The Omron 50mm, as people have always said, is a little bit mushy here. And you can certainly tell when you're comparing these, it is mushier. But I do like the lighter click on the Khalif Red. I find that I'm going to invest my finger on the switch. It's not activating as well, so... It's a nice actuation force on the Khalif. If you wanted a direct replacement for the Omrons just to be a little bit more louder and a better click, I'd say go with TTC Gold. If you want a slightly lighter actuation force, I'd say go with Khalif of Red, which would be my recommendation. I like the Khalif Red switches, but it's personal preference. That's only my opinion and my personal preference when I'm feeling the differences in these switches. I'm going to do another video. A lot of people have been asking me to do it on other switches. I've got loads of switches to compare. We're going to use the standard PCB to do this other test. I'm going to test all the switches that I can get hold of in the market, test them for latency, test them for force actuation, test them for clicks per second on a common PCB to see which ones are the best to put in your mouse. So check out some of the playlists. There'll be some at the end of this video. I'm going to be doing some more streams for mouse reduction videos I've been doing. Recently reduced the weight of the G Pro Wireless and the Razer Viper live on stream, which was good. I'm going to be doing some more of those. I know people have been enjoying that. Until the next video, I'll see you soon. Catch you later. Thanks a lot for watching this. Bye-bye.